launched his comeback campaign. And last week in Regina, Saskatchewan, Smoke and Burt Cooper from nearby Philadelphia enhanced his credentials as a legitimate heavyweight contender. Well, today, Bobby Chez hopes to defend his title and perhaps ensure a big money fight in the future against Tom. McCormick. We're getting set for our live title bout, and we'll take a look at the champion, Bobby Chez, when Sports Saturday continues here on... We're TV. back here ringside in the convention hall awaiting the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship. Bobby Chez defending for the second time against Willie Edwards. And joining me at ringside, as usual, are Gil Clancy. And Gil, I think one thing, uh, listening to Bobby Chez this week, uh, he's the well-known, publicized guy. Perhaps he's uh, not giving enough credit to Willie Edwards. Edwards a tough, experienced contender. He's lost only two fights in his career. Well, yes, uh, Willie Edwards is a seasoned light heavyweight. He's fought some of the best light heavyweights in the world. Whereas Bobby Chez has only had three light heavyweight fights, and I don't think they've been against the best light heavyweights in the world. Willie's fought a lot tougher fighters than Bobby Chez. Chez is the guy that's going to have to prove himself today. Well, one thing uh, Bobby told us also earlier this week is that he felt that he should have turned to the light heavyweight ranks a lot earlier than he did. He felt that he had a lot of trouble making the 160-pound limit, and I uh, wonder... Uh, Perhaps there were some wasted fights in his career. Well, probably so, Tim. I never believed in killing a guy to have him make weight. He says he's been able to handle the light heavyweights and even the heavyweights in the gym. He says he feels much more comfortable and much more effective at this weight. Well, Bobby Chez has been well documented, has had a, a rather dramatic personal life. His father committing suicide almost four years ago. He lived what he called himself a love-hate relationship with his father growing up. His dad wanted him very badly to be a boxer, and of course he went on to fulfill that dream of his father's. We spoke to both Bobby and his mother about the powerful influence of, their, of his father, Robert Chez Sr. Their, their father gave him a lot of strength, too. Yeah. You know, he taught them how to rely on their self, which is really what you should do, because when you have to stand alone, that's very hard. He was a hard man and a driving force. He's the reason I started fighting, and without him instilling in me the things that he did, I would not be able to fight the way I do. He was a preparer for anything. I mean, you could have any situation of any kind happen while he was there and know he'll take care of it. And he went on to, at times, beat that into his kids, if that's what it took. And uh, that wasn't necessarily the right way or the wrong way, but it was his way. And he was my father, so it was my way. To me, he'll always be the greatest man that's ever lived, regardless of the trouble, sort of pain that we had shared. He, you know, he's, that's it, he's number one. Bobby Chez entering the convention hall, and of course, he is from nearby Orange, New Jersey, Wanakew to be more precise, and most of the crowd here are Bobby Chez fans traveling not from not too far away to Atlantic City on the boardwalk to cheer on Bobby Chez in his second title defense of the IBF crown. He won from Slobodan Kachar with a fifth round knockout. Defended it with a first round knockout of David Sears. Chez now trying to hold on to his crown against the challenge of Willie Edwards. So we'll be back here at the convention hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Ed Darien. From convention hall here in the boxing capital of the world of Atlantic City, New Jersey, the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino on the boardwalk proudly presents the International Boxing Federation Light Heavyweight Championship bout scheduled for 15 rounds. The judges, Tony Castellano, Keith Sakes, and John Stewart. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 15 round title bout, referee Rudy Battle. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 175 pounds. He has a record of 22 wins, two losses, one draw, and 16 knockouts. From Detroit, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the challenger, Willie Sandman Edwards. Edwards. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the red and blue trim. He weighed in at 174 and one quarter pounds. 
This young man has 30 wins, one loss, no draws, with 21 knockouts. My good friends, the International Boxing Federation light heavyweight champion from Wanaki, New Jersey, here is Bobby Chappy Chez. Chez. Bobby Chez with a record of 31 and 0. That only loss coming against Mustafa Hamsho. And that was back in November of 1982 as a middleweight. And I'm looking forward to a clean contest. Any questions, gentlemen? All right, good luck to both of you. Let's shake hands. Referee Rudy Battle with the final instructions. And you can see Edwards, the taller of the two, by a little bit. Appear to be taller as you saw them there in the center of the ring. He came in right at the limit of 175. Chez at 174 and one quarter. Willie Edwards, 22 wins. Two defeats and one draw with 16 knockouts. Chez has 21 KOs in his 30 victories. Edwards ranked number three by the IBF, also by the WBC, and number six by the WBA. He's the current North American Boxing Federation light heavyweight champion. From Detroit, Michigan, and knows that this is the chance of a lifetime for him, finally getting an opportunity at a world title. And perhaps a loss here would uh, mean that his advanced age for a boxer, 31, almost 32, but uh, this is probably the last go-round for Willie Edwards. And it very well may, may be the last the go-round for Willie Edwards, but he has beaten some of the world's best light heavyweights. He's beaten Len Hutchins, Dale Grant, Jesse Burnett, and Matthew Saad Muhammad, former champion. He's been in with some tough guys. Bobby Chez, as we commented, coming up in the middleweight ranks to the light heavyweight after the loss to Ham Show, after the devastating personal tragedy, his father's suicide, some managerial problems, with Lou Duva, who has since left and now campaigning as a light heavyweight, finds himself a champion of the victory over Kachar and defending for the second time. And a solid combination landed by Chez, backing up Edwards. Chez pressing the advantage, a solid left jab. Well, Chez said he was going to get him out of there early, Tim. Point must system are under IBF rules. Tony Castellano from New York, Keith Sakes from Dayton, Ohio, John Stewart from New Jersey are the judges. There's a left hook, and that wobbles Edwards. He's in difficulty. Chez with Edwards in difficulty in round one. But Edwards, with a nice move, stayed away from the next onslaught. to go in round number one. Tim, we have two fighters with opposite builds. Edwards has all his weight on top. Bobby Chez has all his weight in his legs and in his hips. Edwards, two defeats, both came as knockouts. A fifth rounder by Pete McIntyre, a guy that he had subsequently knocked out in nine to regain his North American title. And Jim McDonald stopped him in four. He nailed Bobby Chez with a pretty good right hand, Tim. Shook him up. Within the 32nd mark in round one, and now Edwards with Chez resting on the ropes. Come on, Willie. Get off the head. Now Edwards turns south for. Final seconds of round number one. The champion Chez with some staggering blows, and now a late rally by Edwards on the knockdown. the canvas. Tim, did he get nailed? Straight right hand, right on the button. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go see it now, again. Tim. Yeah, no, there's, there's that straight right hand, right on the button. Surely wobbled Bobby Chez. Well, the ropes weren't there. He would have been down. Well, we had two fights in the first round. We had Chez in the early going, wobbling Edwards, and then in the final minute, suddenly the punch you pointed out on the far side of the ring turned things around for Edwards, Gill, and then bing, he set up that right hand. Yes, he, he hurt Bobby Chez earlier in the round with a right hand. Willie Edwards, again, is a seasoned pro. He's been in with some of the top light heavyweights in the world. Yes, he was stopped twice, but he was stopped by two bombers, Pete McIntyre and Diamond Jim McDonald. 
That's for sure. In fact, McDonald earlier on the undercard scored, scored a, an impressive knockout here over Rusty Rosenberg. He's still a big puncher. Hoping to get another title opportunity. Well, let's see if Bobby has recovered from that punch, Tim. Round number two. Rudy Vado is the referee. Well, Tim, it's a little strange now that the, the Billy Edwards has not run out to test the chest. Tried to climb all over him. He's back boxing cautiously again. There's that right hand again, Tim. And Straight good right hand. And another right down the pipe from Edwards. Chez only defeat the ham show was a decision loss. Right, right, never right, been right. stopped. Step out. Step out. Keep the punch up in there. Well, Tim, he's never been stopped, but he's never been hit by a good, legitimate light heavyweight. Now there is some blood underneath the left eye of Willie Edwards. Edwards is wobbling, Tim. Chez's body attack suddenly turned things around. There might be a slight cut at the corner of the left eye of Chez. And what a war. Another right hand by Edwards. <laughs> These guys are forgetting that this is a 15-round fight. Edwards is having success right up the middle, Gil. And there's another right hand in the face of the champion. Watch your head, watch your head. One of these guys is going to have to get himself together and start boxing, start using his head. Watch your head. They're bombing away like it's a Golden Glove final. Bobby Chez trained for this fight Willie in Edwards Miami. Is, Willie Edwards is cut over the left eye, Tim. Now Edwards with the body oh, and up right to the head with the right hand. Looks like Chez is cut over the left eye. Tit for tat. Chez backing up Edwards into the corner. The right hand, he's got Edwards in trouble. Edwards is wobbling. And he's holding on. Edwards, he has to go, right. Tim. And there he goes. Kick right in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. It's all over. Slugfest. And the champion, Bobby Chez, with a vicious right hand, stops the challenge of Willie Edwards, who right at the end of the first round had the champion nearly down. Time. Let's go back and take a look at that. Here we see it again. Good double jab by Chez. Right hand behind the jab, and Edwards is wobbling. Another big right hand. Edwards just trying desperately to stay on his feet during this sequence, and there's one more big right hand. That find, there it is. And there it is, Tim, right on the button. A home run ball that was thrown by Bobby Chez. With Edwards already in trouble from two earlier rights in this same series of punches, and then getting that home runner right there. Down goes Edwards, not to get up. In fact, he's still being attended to by Dr. Frank Doggett in the ring. They're being very careful with him. And Willie Edwards with Frank Doggett attending to him. Hopefully he's all right. But here in New Jersey, as it is becoming more the case all around the country and the world, they're extremely careful with fallen boxers, and they're making sure that Willie is all right before allowing him to sit up. So Bobby Chez with a absolutely spectacular second round knockout after he was nearly down at the end of round number one has scored a second round KO of Willie Edwards for his second successful defense of the IBF light heavyweight championship. We'll be back to talk to Bobby and a reminder that's still to come. There is more championship boxing action. We'll show you the terrific battle for the WBA World Bantamweight Championship between Bernardo Pinango and Frankie Duarte that took place earlier this month in Los Angeles, was not seen anywhere on national television. That action is coming up when CBS Sports Saturday continues. We are back here live in the convention hall, Atlantic City, New Jersey. It was short. It was sweet. It was certainly exciting, Bobby. I mean, that's some way to score a knockout. He nearly had you at the end of round one. Well, he hit me uh, early on. We, we banged heads in the, in the center of the ring, and uh, he hit me on the left side. You know, it was not intentional, and it uh, it bothered me more than the punch, but when he hit me with the punch shortly thereafter, it kind of compounded the effect, and I didn't see it. it you know, he caught me looking, but I got great recuperative power. If those ropes hadn't have been there, you would have been with your relatives. 
Yeah, that would have been a hell of a, a hell of an embarrassing moment. Uh, <laughs> well, nonetheless, I mean, obviously uh, you weren't shocked enough by it to feel that uh, that he somehow had turned the fight in his favor because you came out wailing in round two the same way. Well, I had him cut a little bit. I saw a tiny cut breaking, and uh, early in the second round I got him cut, and I got him hurt a little bit. You know, he, he got a little sloppy, and uh, coming up somewhere in this corner, I hit him with a right hand. There it is, and, and he just he folds. Yeah, and a couple of right hands before that had really got the legs wobbling, and then you got the home run ball, as I described it. On that, you had a, almost a free shot, and you landed it perfectly. Well, Tommy Parks had me training down in Florida. I want to take this time to say hello to Chris Dundee and Bo Jack, all the guys at the Fifth Street Gym in Miami. They did a great job of getting me in shape. I appreciate your help. Tommy had me working with the cruiserweight, even a small heavyweight, because he knew this guy, Willie Edwards, was really strong, good puncher. And uh, had it not been for that great conditioning, you know, it might have been a lot tougher. Bobby, you told us that you feel real comfortable at this weight. Now you've really uh, knocked out an established, full-fledged, been a light heavyweight his entire career, Willie Edwards. That must be a confidence builder for you as well in terms of the guys that are now ahead of you, Marvin Johnson and Thomas Hearns as a possible big money fights. Well, I think that this fight, you know, has established me, lends credibility to uh, my career and what I've accomplished. Willie Edwards can hurt you. I've shown I can take a light heavyweight punch, come back, and with one punch, you know, the fight was over. You know, uh, I can take a punch, I can give a punch. My condition is great, thanks to Tommy. And, you know, I, I made a couple small mistakes in here. Not underestimating him at all, but, you know, I thought a little different uh, strategy in the beginning, and I had to change up. Well, it was plenty exciting, Bobby. Congratulations to you. I know fans look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a bunch. Also, just want to take this opportunity to thank CBS and the Trump Plaza, Mark Edis, everybody's treating me great. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, Bobby Chez, IBF light heavyweight champion who has defended his title for the second time and certainly is a, a man who's going to be providing more excitement for television.